Hi guys, Phil from statisticsmentor.com. I want to show you here how to redirect the output from the screen on to, into a file. I'm going to talk about textual output. So we know how to save objects that we create. We save it by saving a workspace. We know how to save the commands. We save the history file. But how do we save the output? that's dumped on the screen, the textual output. Well, obvious way is, one way is to copy, right click, copy and paste into the word processor package. The other way is to use the sync command. I'm going to demonstrate the sync command here using um, the data here. We're going to run a simple linear regression model. So I regress yield on rainfall and I look at the summary and here's the output. Say I want this in a file. Well, how you can do that is use the sync command. Sync give enter a file name say dat out and it's got to be a text file. So what this tells us that it can save anything of textual content on screen. It cannot save graphs. If we want to save graphs, we have to just right click on the graph and save as. Now, when I press enter, and any output that I ask for will now be directed to this dat out text file instead of the screen. So let's do summary R1 again. See, there's nothing because that output now has gone to the screen. And we can direct it other output so we can do other things generating output all that textual output would dumped on the screen if we create a graph the graph will just a, a pop up it won't be or it won't to corrupt this text file once we finish saving output textual output to our file we can close it by using sync that now if I do a summary output comes back on the screen if you want to restart sync and if you give it the same file name what will happen is that R will just overwrite this file okay so if you wish to restart saving stuff just give it a different name let's see that it's indeed it's worked so we'll go to a file where is it uh, dat out has appeared right and that double click you see the output has now appeared and it's opened up in wordpad Okay, so that's just an alternative than using copy and paste. Hope that's been helpful.